Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. Wherever you might be watching us, we hope you're having a terrific Sunday morning and it's nice to be a part of it. And if you're an Adelaide Crow supporter, you would be up and about. There's no doubt about that because you caused one of the upsets in AFL history in terms of opening rounds. Let's take a look at the results board here. And it was Geelong on the receiving end of this upset. You spot on TJ, hard to remember a better win for Adelaide. Well, certainly not since 2017, their grand final year. They just bought pressure and intensity and Geelong couldn't cope with it. That's the score and Adelaide came out of the blocks and started so well. A key part of it and a key part of their side is our next guest, their reigning best and fairest winner, Riley O'Brien. He joins us. Riley, thanks for your time and congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was a great win uh, and a great start for the footy club. I hadn't seen anything from Adelaide that would suggest that performance was coming. Did you guys sense it at training? Um, I think, uh, was, yeah, obviously, the last couple of weeks in our practice games against Adelaide probably haven't been where we want to be, but we knew uh, with the amount of work we've done and the, um, the training we've put in, I think we were pretty confident going in despite those results. And we just tinkered a couple of things with our defence and our pressure and really brought that heat around the ball all day and it yeah, really showed dividends and um, yeah, it was an awesome game and uh, can't wait for the rest of the year now. Riley, can I ask you, and this is at the risk of me copying it from Kane, when Kane corners right stuff like you're the worst Adelaide side in 30, 31 years, is that motivation for you guys or? Uh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, absolutely um, use that as motivation and uh, we're really proud footy club and we're really proud of the group, so uh, going forward, definitely using that um the fire us up for this year and um we showed it yesterday guys like tex uh he was unbelievable he was back to his back to his best and then a lot of young guys coming in and showing that heart and passion i think uh, some which does... sorry riley i think some of the best wins to cut you off there is when you are against the odds and you lost brown early hot conditions 30 degrees in adelaide for those that aren't aware you won rotation down before half time and you still get up and win against the grand finalists. Like, it, it's a win that you'll remember forever, and I, I don't think that should be understated. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of the best wins I've been a part of with the footy club. Uh, we had yeah, a couple of guys go down. Um, half the team was cramping late in the game, too. We had Shane McAdam uh, with a bit of a sore ankle as well, um, playing deep in the goal square. So, yeah, it was a really gritty win. Um, amazing start, but the way the, the character we showed uh, to hold on and uh, fight the game out it was amazing. So uh, yeah, it was absolutely awesome and um, really bodes well for the rest of the year. And um, we're bloody excited and hopefully the fans are too. Uh, they would be. Well done. Very good win. What about Tex? I thought it was Tony Modra out there. He was on fire. Five first half goals. How fit is he and how much has he been working on his fitness? Yeah, he's looking green and fit and ready to go, Tex. He's playing the house down all summer and uh, he's really slick. He's really lean and He's been dominating training, training for that's from round one, that's been fantastic. And he was amazing for us yesterday, just a great target, um, crashing packs and using his skill and kicking goals from everywhere. So, uh, absolutely amazing to have him backfiring and in his best form because he's a huge part of our team. Riley, every club wants to be known to be a pressure club, to put enormous pressure on the opposition. Last year, you were ranked 18th in that area, but it was a, a hallmark of your game yesterday. 60 tackles and almost a lot of inferred pressure around that. How did it happen? How did you go from last year to this year? Personnel? Talk us through it. Yeah, that. yeah I think guys up forward, as you see in the footage, Lockie Murphy and Ned McHenry, Sam Berry, um, and Jimmy Rowe there, just fought the heat. Um, they were amazing up there, and then and that was our pressure. Our focus going into the game was just to bring the heat against Geelong. They want to play in a cold, sort of controlled way, and only the game. We just want to bring that heat, um, not let them get settled, uh, and really um, yeah, cover their outlets and bring the heat, which we really did. Right. It was amazing because I, I like oh. Kane. When you played Port Adelaide in the pre-season game, I just didn't see any of that. But uh, the heat you put on Geelong. It's absolutely brilliant. What about the energy that new young players bring in? And some of them aren't so young, but they're playing their first games. So like Rowe yesterday, Berry, and also McAdam, who's relatively new as well. Some of their impact on the game. Yeah, absolutely. Their energy um, is just amazing for the group. A um, guy like Ned McHenry as well, Lockie Murphy, who's been around for a while, but they just, they were just relentless all day. Um, and I mean, oh. the whole team was relentless. And there's a nice mark there from Shano as well. <laughs> um, tri tricks, so... Um, no, the boys were incredible. Um, Sam Berry, I think he had five tackles in the first quarter in his first game. So he's bought in and he's, he was amazing he's in first up. So hopefully we can bring that heat and that, that level of energy every week and um, the results will take care of themselves. 
Rolly, you just take a look at your own uh, highlights yesterday. There, there were many against uh, Reece Stanley. It was a really good tussle. But as, you, as we do take a look at it, just if you can explain to you, to us, please, the, the lessons taken out of 2020. It was a tough one for you. You won the best and fairest. You handled yourself beautifully with the Nick Nat Nui um, situation. Just how it um, unfolded for you and what it meant for you to establish yourself in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I took a while to uh, spend my spot in the team. Um, in my first few years of the club and playing behind a great ruckman in, in Sam Jacobs and probably lit that fire in me to uh, work really hard and, and, and play a really consistent AFL footy. I think it set me up really well. And last year was was a tough one for the team, but to be able to play a full year, my first full year of AFL football and um, play every game and really learn along, along the way, playing the best ruckman in the comp. And um, I guess now I feel a lot more confident in my own game um, and I feel like uh, I can really mix it with the best and uh, yeah, got a lot to give this year and a lot to build on. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for the rest of the year and to come up against some really good opponents. And of course, uh, just before we get the votes, you're doing all that juggling studies at the same time. What are you studying? Oh. I'm studying, yeah, doing a Masters of uh, Neuroscience at the moment. So I finished a Bachelor of Medical Science last year. So. Doing that on the side, which is good to, uh, I guess, occupy myself outside of footy. There's not much intellectual stuff going on at a footy club. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Bill. So, so what are you going to become? Uh, long term, the plan is to do uh, postgraduate medicine and become a doctor, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Wow. Well, it's a long way down. What a superstar. Let's take a look at the votes, TJ. And I nearly gave Tex a 10. I really wanted to. If maybe one or two more goals, I would have given him a 10. Rory Laird was sensational. Tom Lynch had a poor pre-season but was on fire yesterday and the captain led from the front. Rory Sloan, there you have it. OK, Riley, thanks for your time. All the very best for the season, mate. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, John. <laughs> oh, he's smart. He's smart. No, no, no. What did, what did, what, what did Rodney E describe Will Minson as before? Now, don't start that garbage, otherwise we'll bring your Twitter account up. Oh, he's happy with it. <laughs> no, you're right, Riley. Good on you. Thanks very much for your time this morning, and we won't see you again on this show. Okay. Thanks, mate. We'll take a break here on the Sunday Footy Show. Uh, you got the list, Bill? Yes, and it's about... Sorry, are you texting, are you? I'm just seeing what physics is. Oh, it's the science of matter. Is that right? Well, all that matters at the to moment... To be honest, right? it doesn't matter. Okay. All right.